Unusually warm temperatures are creating some dangerous situations for winter sportsmen. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli traveled to the far northern suburbs with Drone 2, where ice fishing is a risky proposition. From the sunny skies, the lakes surrounding Antioch glisten with a thinning coat of ice that still calls to ice fishermen. How thick do you think the ice is right now? It's about eight inches, but it's not solid, you know, it's soft. I've been out here like 10 times in the last two weeks, so I've been watching it. Mm -hmm. It's getting weak now. I think it's extremely risky to ice fish. Outdoor adventure author Chauncey Nizel says the sudden rise in temperatures makes surface ice unreliable. Water moves under ice. And so the ice that you were on a week ago that was 10 inches might be three, two, or four. Just yesterday in this area, Lake County emergency crews came to the rescue of two men who fell through thin ice while fishing and were rushed to hospitals. You need to get out quick because hypothermia sets in in minutes, not hours, minutes. So I can eyeball it and tell that it's just not the right time to go ice fishing. It's just not the right time. Nizel says sure signs of weakening ice are watery pools at the shoreline. No open water on the shoreline. I don't care what you think or do. No open water on the shoreline. Holes in the ice also indicate weakness. And while gray ice is typically thick and strong, black patches are cause for concern. Now that means it's thinning out. It's melting quickly. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day. And, that, and this is going to absorb the heat of the sun and start additional melting. Until we get cold weather, stay off the ice. And stay safe. In Antioch, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.